Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Paul Adams from SoftEast and in this video we're going to be looking at the buying watches from China and then specifically testing watch accuracy with a time grapher. So let's have a look at how we check the watch accuracy. How is a watch checked for accuracy you may ask? Well, on the right hand side here, we've got a quick image. This is a, a, a simple device and it's called a time grapher. So what is a time grapher? A device called a time grapher is used to check the rate accuracy, amplitude and beat error of mechanical watches. Let's have a look at each of these particular aspects in turn. So let's have a look at the beat rate to start with. This is how fast or slow the watch movement runs and is measured in seconds per day. Next is amplitude. This is the measure of swing in the balance wheel, which can be affected by the watch position, as well as the amount of energy in the main spring. When I'm talking about the watch position, I'm talking about horizontal or vertical position. The beat error. This is the amount of variation in the timing of swing from one side to the other in the oscillation of the balance wheel. The error should not be more than 0.8 milliseconds in any position. And again, position, we're talking about horizontal or vertical position of the watch itself. Now let's have a better understanding of beat error. Now, let's remind us the rate is how fast or slow the watch runs in seconds per day. This is the most basic statistic and will at least let you know how accurate a watch is. In good health, it needs to be running between minus four and plus six seconds per day. Otherwise, it will depend somewhat on the watch. But with few exceptions, you should consider the following to be a good range of your movement's health. If it is widely out of these range, the watch needs to be regulated as it is not accurate. Now it's classed to be excellent if it's plus or minus seven seconds per day. The standard acceptable error is plus or minus 20 seconds per day. Now on the right hand side here we do have a time grapher digital readout and we can see here that the watch being tested is showing a beat error of minus one second per day. So one would assume that the watch on here is um, an extremely accurate, um, and potentially an extremely expensive watch. We can see that shown here in the readout. Now we may talk about accuracy and we're talking about percentages. So the question is, is 99.9% .9 accurate good enough? Well, let's have a look. Let's analyze this. All watches tend to gain or lose a few seconds over a period of time. There are small mechanical or electromechanical devices that are counting out 86,400 seconds per day. Even if the watch is 99.9% .9 accurate, it will still be off by a whole minute and a half in just 24 hours. So even a mediocre wristwatch has to be well over 99.9% .9 accurate to even begin to be useful on an ongoing basis. So what is a reasonable expectation of accuracy from a wristwatch? Here's a table on the right hand side that shows the best and the worst examples. We can see here we have second gain loss or gain or loss per day is the worst, typical and the best. And we've got a vintage mechanical watch in good repair is plus or minus 60 seconds a day for the worst case. Best case is a plus or minus five seconds per day. And look at the accuracy percentage. It's 99.9826%, which is way above the 99.9% .9 that we initially looked at. Let's have a look at some of the other ones. So we've got, uh, in the middle here, we've got a modern mechanical watch, chronometer certified. The worst case is plus six seconds, minus four seconds per day. The best case, plus or minus one second a day. And the accuracy here is 
99.9977%. So we're almost getting up to perfect. I'll let you have a look at the other details, but the best one down here, which is a very rare case, is 99.9999% accurate. And don't forget to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. And to contact us if you need any help in China, the link will be below. So thanks very much for watching the game. My name is Paul Adams from Southeast. Thank <music> you.